Do you utilize Salesforce and need to create a donation form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm for Salesforce. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you already have JotForm, but you don't already have it in Salesforce, you can definitely add it from the App Exchange. If you already have Salesforce and you don't have JotForm yet, and you are looking for a form builder, definitely consider utilizing JotForm. It is free to get started again in the App Exchange. Now, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my JotForm tab. And if you are familiar with JotForm, you can see that this is exactly as it would look if you were on JotForm.com. So for this example, I'm gonna to go to the top left-hand corner. We're gonna go ahead and create a new form. And we have some different options. We can create from scratch. We can create a Salesforce form. We can use a template, import a form, or we can create a signable document. But for this example, because I know we're wanting to create a donation form, I'm gonna go ahead and use a template. Now with using templates, we can do a lot of different things. We can always use the search option at the top. We can come over to the side, find something from over here. But for me, I think this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and search for a donation and just see what pops up. And let's just go ahead and use this very first one. So I'm gonna do a preview and we can take a quick scroll just to see what we're working with. This is perfect. Let's go ahead and use the template. Now, if there's anything on this form that is missing that you would like to add a form field for, over on the left-hand side, we can add a form element and then we can just click and drag in whatever is needed. Then as we go down, we see the payment method. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this donation amount and let's open up the payment settings. So as of right now, we can see that it's a PayPal integration. So if you want to change that, you definitely can. So I think for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to Stripe. So I'm going to remove this and we can see that it removed both of those options at the bottom. So I'm gonna head over to my payment integrations and I'm gonna go ahead and use Stripe. We'll go ahead and drag this in. We'll connect the account and we'll change this over to test mode just so we can give this a good test. And right down here where it says payment type, we can click on this and bring it down to collect donations. Now we can come back over here and change this instead of my products because we're not selling a product, we're asking for donations. We can do donation amount, perfect. Now, before we give this a test, we need to connect this to our Salesforce. So over on the right hand side, underneath our form designer, we have our Salesforce integration and we have two different options. We can either create a new record or we can find an existing record. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and create a new record and we are going to put this in our account object. And you can see it's automatically mapped some of the fields for us. So we have account name and because our name field is two different fields, it wants to know if it wants both fields or one or the other. So for this, I want their full name. And if we have any additional fields you need to add, you can choose to add field right here. But let's go ahead and next. And it's wanting to know, do you want me to look and see if there's any duplicates? And if there are, update that record. And so, yes, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to look by the account name. Perfect. We'll do save. Now let's go ahead and preview our form and let's do fill form and we can scroll down. We see we have the donation amount right here and their card information. So let's go ahead and submit. And the great thing about this is not only is their information kept in your Salesforce account, it is also kept in JotForms table. So let's go ahead and turn off the preview. We'll head from our form builder over to our tables and we see George's information along with his donation amount right here. But let's also take a look at what this looks like within Salesforce. So up at the top next to my job form tab, we have our accounts tab and right here is George, his information. If we click on him, we have more information and it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use JotForm to make a donation form within your Salesforce account, let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.